I feel bloated. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love for PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today we're going to be doing a video on wide angle lens correction. So let's jump right into Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to get great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's make some corrections to some wide angle lens shots, shall we? In the timeline, you can see that I have a clip that has a considerable amount of lens distortion on it. And I want to get that out of here. Okay, get it out of here. There's several different ways that I can access the wide angle lens correction tool. The first way is I can left click on this clip. I can go to the editor button. And from here, I can click on corrections. And then I can click on wide angle lens correction. And the tool comes up for me. It looks all pretty and beautiful and stuff like that. Oh, how lovely that is. All right, so let me remove this from here. To remove any correction, all you need to do is place your cursor over the green line until you see the little effect symbol. Right click on it, go to corrections, and then go to revert to original, and it'll remove it. So the other way that I can apply the wide angle lens correction is just by double clicking on the clip with my left mouse button, going to corrections, and going to wide angle lens correction. So the first thing that you'll see is that you have an area for selecting a preset. Right now it's set to no preset. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this little drop down arrow and you want to select the preset that works best for you. So for me, it's the GoPro Hero 4 Black Wide. So I'm going to select this one. And you can tell that that preset is automatically applied to the shot. And that lens distortion is gone. Vamos. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. So there's also this button here. So if you want to disable or enable or toggle the lens correction effect on and off, you can use this button. So if I click on it, you'll notice that it is back to the old nasty distorted version. And if I click on it again and make it orange, I will enable the preset that I already applied. And you can see that it looks beautiful. So pretty. If you want to manually adjust the lens correction, you can change the settings below the preset. So first off, we have focal length. Now focal length allows you to adjust the focal length on the X or the Y axis. So if I place my cursor here over the slider, hold down my left mouse, you'll see that the focal length is being changed on the X axis. And I can do the same thing on the Y axis. Next we have optical center. Optical center allows you to adjust the center of the image on the X or the Y axis. So we'll go ahead and place our cursor over the slider, hold down our left mouse, and you can see that we are now changing the center on the X axis. And we can do the same thing on the Y axis. The next section is radio distortion coefficients. Radio distortion coefficients allow you to control the amount of barrel distortion and pincushion distortion. 
Radio distortion is common when you shoot with a wide angle lens. So this would be something that you would most likely have to change if you were going to manually adjust. Basically each one of these has a different amount of effect on the barrel distortion and the pin cushion distortion. So you see like if I move this in, what does that look like? A barrel, barrel on its side. So I'm adding barrel distortion right now. And if I go the other way, I'll be adding pin cushion distortion. Okay. So each one of these will do it, but they just do it at, like I said, different amounts really. And finally, we have tangential distortion coefficients. Tangential distortion lets the user change the amount of decentering distortion. This is caused by the lens not being parallel to the image sensor. So I can change this way. So it's changing the decentering distortion on that. So you see the different changes you can make with that. So that's it. Really simple tool to use. If you use the presets, you can bang it, knock it out real easy. If you want to manually make adjustments, you can do that with all of the parameters on here. And this is great for lens correction, but it's also great for adding distortion to your shots. If you want to add something like that, this is a great tool for getting that done. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee makes gaming videos and vlogs on his YouTube channel. So if you're into gaming and you're into vlogs, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you'd like to get a shout out like Tommy Lee did, make sure that you head over to our video description and fill out the shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like to request, make sure that you go to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, you just want to talk, you got questions, you want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.